This is the uh, shower bathroom on Amtrak. Um, and there's, uh, you know, the shower. What I like here is the drain. The California Zephyr is the longest trip you can take on Amtrak. From Chicago to San Francisco runs 2,400 miles through three time zones. It takes about 50 hours, and if you're awake, you can watch America roll by. Elise and I flew back to the Midwest to be with our families for Thanksgiving 2013. Returning home to San Francisco, we decided to take Amtrak. We thought it might be a little gentler on the environment. Plus, we had some time to make our travel an adventure. I splurged for a roomette, the smallest sleeping accommodation provided by Amtrak. Elise and I sat facing each other during the day, and then at night, you lower a bunk above you and the two seats fold down to form a bed underneath. It's two bunks. The roomette bunks aren't wide enough for two people to sleep if their bodies are stacked horizontally. If their bodies are stacked vertically, they might have trouble sleeping, but for different reasons. We left Chicago Sunday afternoon, and by midnight, we were passing through Nebraska. This is Omaha. Omaha at 10.45 p.m. When we woke up, out the window was Denver, Colorado. And we spent Monday climbing through the Rockies. By Monday night, we had passed into the deserts of Utah and then Nevada. Waking up Tuesday morning in the Sierra Nevada mountains. We rode through the snowy Sierra Nevada mountains until descending into Sacramento and finally Emeryville where we caught a bus for the last leg to San Francisco. The California Zephyr does make a few stops, but only for a short time. Pulling into Grand Junction, an old 1906 era terminal with stained glass sits boarded up next to an efficiency station made out of cinder blocks. For environmentalists keen on supporting train travel as an alternative to carbon spewing planes, you should know that Amtrak's California Zephyr uses disposable plates that they round up after each meal and toss into the trash. It's cheaper to fill a landfill with plastic than it is to pay somebody to rinse some dishes across the country. Amtrak's California Zephyr line is not profitable. In 2012, with 376,000 passengers, it lost $62 million. While it might not be an obvious economic or environmental choice, a long rail line like Amtrak's California Zephyr seems to help stitch together a diverse nation. The pace of travel is luxurious if you have time to spare. While there are power outlets at every seat, there's no Wi-Fi on the California Zephyr, and the mobile phone signal is spotty. The main activities include reading, looking out the window, and talking to your neighbors. We must mediate this experience.